Hi everyone, so I want to talk to you about this new utility uh, that you can download for uh, your Unity project and it automatically adds in shadows to your game objects, it adds in uh, ground floors and it also adds in occlusion which I think is amazing um, and really tricky and also does add to the immersion of AR Core. So I think this is fantastic. I want to show you about it. It's super easy to add into any of your projects, including the existing ones. It's just one prefab. It's completely free. It's on GitHub. It's by uh, someone called Jonas Johansson. I hope I pronounced your name right. If I haven't, I apologize. Uh, but Jonas is a really cool guy. He's worked on um, some really amazing stuff in the past. Uh, things like Angry Birds. Um, worked with a, a couple of other AAA projects. Um, so he definitely knows what he's doing. Uh, I think he's doing some stuff with uh, VR, a uh, social VR app now, I think. Um, so I I, um, I want to show you this, and I want to get you guys to add this into your project. Really, and it's not, it's not difficult at all. Once you download it, <clears throat> so I downloaded it from um, this link, and I'll leave this in the description below. Um, and what you'll see is that you can just hit clone and then download, download the um, the file that you want. And then once you have it in your in on your computer, you can just import into let's say it's importing into an existing package. So I imported it. Um, and once you once you've unzipped it, <clears throat> you can actually just take just that folder, just the Newston Newston folder. Um, you can ignore the Google AR Core one if you if you've already got Google AR Core in your in your in your project you're working on existing project because you won't need to have two of them. And so I've got my Google regular Google AR Core one and I've got the new one. Or you can bring the whole thing in from the beginning and you have both of them. Um, so also this is using AR Core. I think it's 1.1, which is the latest version of AR Core. So this is all nice and up to date. So there's um, no need to worry there. So make sure you've got the latest Google AR Core as well. Uh, once you have your AR Core project, there's um, an example utilities project here that you can use, which is almost identical to the existing Hello World one, um, except it has this AR Surface Manager that you can add in. And, and this AR Surface Manager automatically adds in the shadows and so on to all of the platforms and I think it also add, um, hides the um, the surface as well I think uh, if I'm correct. Um, so I've taken this surface and I've also added in just for the sake of um, the tutorial I've added in a few thing, few additional things here just so you can take a look at it. I've added a sphere uh, prefab <clears throat> so I made a sphere I added in uh, made sure the sphere had you know, the collide that comes with it added a rigid body and I added this script called will be destroy. I just quickly typed this up. All it does is it destroys this game object after 10 seconds, this sphere. Uh, so the reason I did that is so that, and then once I did that, so I, I created a prefab order. So I dragged it over here to assets folder, create a prefab. And then I created a another script on my camera, which is called spawn sphere. And spawn sphere, all this does, I mean, this isn't the best, <laughs> best piece of code, but I just wanted to do it for the for the just to show you that one shadows work and um, dynamically for any object, even though that object doesn't have a shadow. So the sphere didn't have a shadow when I made it, um, and it works to create an the ground plane as well. So uh, what it does it takes the it takes the game object. So in this case, sphere it has a um, thrust. So this is how much the impact's gonna the, the thrust is gonna be added on. And then um, on the start method, it calls a uh, spawn ball, which is the, this method here, this function. It calls it after one second, and then it, from that point on, it calls it every two seconds. And what that does is it finds the rigid body of the sphere object, which is this one here, and it it, it actually instantiates, it creates a clone of that of that prefab, and then it adds it to the main camera as a child object of it uh, so it creates that as a child object of the, of the main camera and then it 
takes that instance of a rigid body it um, adds some velocity to it so it kind of almost comes out it's thrown out of the camera it also just changes the rotation so it's the same as the camera and then it removes it from the parent of the camera so that when you move the camera around the ball doesn't come go along with it um, and that is for and I think I can show you that in this in the um, editor as well so once I've added that um, that spawn camera I made sure the sphere was inside of it um, so you can see now the camera is coming um, the ball is coming out of the front of the camera so if I just click here you can see the ball coming out there um, <clears throat> and I'll also attach this project and have a link to the project as well so you can just download the, the project it's a small one um, so you've seen the video as well uh, I think if you change this depth to I think skybox then you can see it kind of here but obviously this doesn't really work on your device on your phone in the same way anyway then I build it onto the device and you can see what I've got there I've just got the ability to be able to test this and see and show you that it works so it's super easy to do take any existing project and then just take um, go to the news to uh, news to AR core take this <clears throat> take this AR surface manager just pop it on here <clears throat> and you can see I've already got it and bang that's it you're away you've got those three things shadows occlusion and you've got an actual surface as well physical surface so two of those things were asked for I don't think anyone's asked for occlusion but there you go it's been thrown in for free for you um, uh, also on another note um, you, uh, Jonas was really kind enough to give us all some advice about um, I mentioned that I, I emailed him he was really kind enough to, to just throw in some free advice as well about how the best kind of ways to use shadows so when you have your project <clears throat> you have the, if you go click on I think it's edits project settings and quality we have our quality levels here so uh, it looks like we've got some different quality settings here for, uh, for different devices if we go down we should see shadows um, and now we're using shadows we, we can change some of this stuff so um, Jonas was saying the best thing to do is change it from projection from close to stable fit um, and we can actually change the default quality for Android to high now um, and the reason we can do this is because I mean look it, it will affect the performance a little bit but if we're not using it too much and most AR core projects are quite small when you think about it, there's not much going on we might even be able to pull get, get away with that um, so I think the advice was change. I'll just read this out. Change default uh, with the little group down arrow under the Android in quality settings. So I think this is the one. Um, so the default here we can change this to medium or change it to high. So I'll change this. If I change this to high now, um, this will improve basically everything, um, and we'll get. Um, a better look and better sh uh, sh uh, shadows. Now you don't have to do this. This is something that you can do if you want to, and you should play around with this and, and kind of see how it affects your project um, in different ways. But the last thing you want to do is if you go to the directional light, um, <clears throat> is you want to. And I think the advice was also to make sure this is pointing down. So I think that's pointing down now, uh, and also change this from shadow type so resolution from you could have it as very high it's fine but change it to use quality settings that way it uses the quality settings that you set um, instead of the, the default ones that you'll have on the light um, and that's that's quite important as well for different devices all right well I hope that's helped also it's been a while since I've done videos I'm really sorry about that um, I'm gonna try and, and, and knock some more out um, when I can but um, I hope that's helped you. I think it's a really cool one. If you want to, and I really recommend you should, because it's really nice to do, um, 
you can drop Jonas um, a line by going to his website and I think if you can see it here uh, if I shrink this down a little bit <clears throat> there is there we go uh, a Twitter <coughs> he's on Twitter and you can also email him as well if you want um, and just say thank you so I'll try and leave um, in his Twitter account below as well um, just drop him an email say th uh, drop a tweet and say thank you for that that'd be really nice I know how it is uh, it goes a long way so he's producing free stuff for us he's keeping it up to date you can see um, he just updated two days ago uh, based off of some, this small email that I sent him he's been keeping it up to date based off of um, the new, every time an AR course stuff has been released which is really helpful for all of us um, all right. Well, I hope you I like that review, and I hope you appreciate that. Leave a like and a comment, and I will see you in the next video.